PhotoKey 6 Lite is designed to make it as easy as possible for you to create stunning composite images like this. A camera, a simple green screen, and a few moments with PhotoKey are all you need. PhotoKey lets you combine two images. Our foreground, or green screen image, is on top, and our background image is behind it. PhotoKey uses a process called keying to select and remove the color green from our foreground. So by using an even, bright green backdrop, we can easily isolate our subject to place them in any background image we want. Let's walk through the process of creating this image to see how easy it really is. In the home screen for PhotoKey 6 Lite, click the New Project button. This will take us back to the Edit screen, where we can select the Import tool set and import our foreground image. As you can see, the green is automatically removed, leaving only our subject and the bit of wall that was visible. Now we can choose any image we want to place our subject into and import it as a background. We're going to use this jungle image with the tiger, and it immediately slots in behind our subject. These images are obviously different shapes, and the canvas tool set lets us define the shape of the image we're creating. There's a list of presets available of common image sizes and shapes, including a 5 by 5 inch square that works great for Instagram photos. We're going to choose as background, which will use the exact shape of our background image for our canvas. Now we can use the position tool set to adjust where our layers sit within that canvas shape. We get two handles in the center of the canvas that let us control the rotation and scale of the selected layer. So with our foreground selected, we can just click and drag upward on this handle to reduce the size of that layer. Then to move it, we can simply click and drag anywhere on the layer to reposition it as we see fit. We can adjust the key settings to clean things up as needed. For example, we have a bit of wall still visible here, but we can use the crop tool and just crop the right hand side of our foreground until that is gone. If you want to adjust the color of your images, you can do that using the filters tool set. There are a variety of filters here for either the foreground or background, which we can use to adjust its color. Let's add an adjustment to color temperature to warm up the colors in our subject. So there's before, you can see the colors are a little cooler in her face there, and there's after. You can easily adjust the colors using any of these filters. Once our composite is completely put together, the export tool set lets us select the image format that we want to use. So let's choose JPEG. We can adjust the quality of that image to control the file size. And then click export to create an image that you can use as a Facebook profile picture or share with your friends on Instagram, Flickr, through email, or whatever other method you prefer. And of course, you can send the image right to your printer as well. For more free videos on PhotoKey's other capabilities, please visit the FX Home website. Advanced users looking for more keying options, more filters, or other advanced features can check out PhotoKey 6 and PhotoKey 6 Pro as well. PhotoKey 6 Lite. Shoot. Click. Create.